There are float tanks in the industry that circulate for 15 minutes after each customer. And some people tell you that that's plenty. The Royal Spa float products circulate any time that someone's not in the tank. Which way do you think is better? You know, the, the, the on all the time was a little counterintuitive to me at first. But after having run this float center seven days a week, 15, 16 hours a day, one of the things that we found was you never know what's going to go wrong. Um, power outages, software problems, um, staff not setting timers properly. It's been really nice to know that if anything goes wrong, especially if we're closed for a holiday, uh, the tank's natural state is to be warming and cleaning and circulating and filtrating. Um, I never understood why people were so concerned about the tank being in this, this low state of circulation. It's certainly not expensive for it to run. But when I float in one that's only circulated for 15 minutes, the solution feels much more grainy and much more gritty, if you will, oh, compared interesting. to the one that circulates all the time. Has that been your experience? Um, you know, I don't have that much experience with it. You know, you've mentioned our, our solution's fairly mature. We've no, not had to replace it. Um, and so that kind of satiny feeling, I think a good part of it is we're not just leaving a bunch of rock salt at the bottom of the tank uh, or manually stirring because it's constantly circulating, breaking down, dissolving. It feels silky like tomato oh, soup. Well, and that's the part of the problem is people think it's water and then they roll around on the floor. Um, something you had mentioned before also, though, the, the non-constant circulation, or at least when people aren't floating, does that have something to do with the oversized pump fad? Well, the oversized pump it allows a competitor to say, hey, we are able to turn the solution over more frequently than Royal Spa. But what they're doing is adding so much energy to that solution by pumping it through those pipes so fast that it's been our experience that tomorrow morning, if you let it try and circulate a lot that night, it will be 109 degrees in the morning. And you know that if you had a 109 degree tank of solution, it would take you a long time to cool it back down mm. to a good floating temperature. Mm -hmm. And if you float in too hot of a water, your eye sockets will fill with your own salt water from oh, your sweat. Interesting, that that's sounds fun. not a fun thing. 